Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. And on today's episode, we have $200 up for grabs confluence of Arizona Financial Credit Union. Yes, this is a credit union. By their own admission, it is nationwide, and I'm currently trying to put that to the test. So, of course, we will cover that, as well as this offer, terms and conditions, requirements, and eligibility, everything you need to know to make their money become your money. So, of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, as always, there will be a dedicated blog post and a direct link down below. Not a referral link simply gets you uh, where you need to go the fastest. Uh, the bulk of this video will be spent um, talking about the opening process, which is pretty interesting. But uh, let's get to it here, taking a look at the offer page. And, of course, as we always know, we have someone who is, like, super happy. Well, two people, very happy, holding up two fingers, probably for 200 bucks. So what do you need to do to be like these young ladies and be pumped? Well, open a new checking account. The prom promo code is free very nice there um, then you need to complete 10 debit card transactions within 45 days of opening and your bonus post 15 days after completion and just like that, you are $200 richer. So overall, this one is fairly easy and to the point. Now, when you go through the opening process, there will be a, uh, a spot for the promo code. It asks you, do you have a promo code? And you have to manually type in free and you'll be on your way. So uh, just be sure you don't miss. It's actually pretty hard to miss if you go through all the all the questions. It will be the like one of the last questions on one of the pages. And it's always good to screenshot that page as well, just to show that uh, you, you have entered it in case uh, there is an issue later. But again, uh, we don't need to worry about direct deposits or anything like that because it's just debit card swipes. When it's debit card swipes, I default to uh, Amazon reloads of a dollar each. Yes, I know you can do you know fewer, but um, for me, a dollar seems to work just fine. So that's that's generally how I do it. Don't think we need to belabor the point because we will do so in a second. So let's keep going here with eligibility fees and closure. Now. This is Arizona based, obviously, and they have a few set counties in Arizona. However, if you go to their nationwide, you can um, spot on their membership. You can make a donation, a $15 donation to Local First Arizona, and that will grant you membership. You cannot have had an account within the last 12 months, which probably isn't going to be an issue for folks watching this. And then, of course, uh, the checking plus is a fee-free account, and there are no closure rules listed, uh, so you should be set there. Now, again, eligibility is where we're going to spend the bulk of our, our, our time at. So on the membership page, it does literally say you can make your $15 donation. So I did make the $15 donation, and uh, you, again, they're going to mail you a receipt. They also, very nicely enough, they do send you a separate thing that shows you it's for tax purposes, right? So this actually is a write out. A lot of, I mean, they're all donations are generally write outs, but they actually send you like an email of thing that says, hey, you can use this as a write off, which is very nice. Uh, so go ahead, make the donation. It's only 15 bucks. You can do more, obviously, but $15 is what they specify on their membership page. Now, when you go through the application process, in the very beginning screen, there's going to be the membership selection, which is not uncommon. And there is a spot that says, hey, I'm eligible because I donated to um, you know, First Arizona. And then you're going to keep going, and it's going to ask you to upload your identification, no problem. And then you're going to go through and kind of just verify. It does a good job of reading your ID and pulling the information over. But for me, living in Michigan, as soon as I've, I've verified all the information, you're not going to be able to proceed, at least one use case, one, one example. I was not able to proceed. An error message pops up and says, hey, phone in. We need additional information from you. So uh, this is where it's going to get interesting, and some of you aren't going to want to do this, but I still think it's probably worth your time. So I phoned in, and then they actually knew who I was based, on, I guess, off the phone number calling in, even though the application didn't go all the way through. And they're like, yeah, it's because, you know, you're, you know, you're not in, in our state, So which obviously... So I was like, okay, but yeah, I'm trying to do it off this donation page. So they put me on hold for a while. They were just, they were just really busy that day, honestly, but they were nice about it. And like, all right, well, we'll send you an email and you can send us a picture of your social security card through secured um, message. And then we'll, we'll see what we can do. So I do that. I also attached a receipt for the donation. They didn't ask where at that time. I was like, yeah, I'll do it, do it anyways. Next day, get another email saying like, hey, sorry, you're not in our, our state footprint. So I responded back to that with a, uh, uh, attachment of the receipt again and emailed the person, the customer service rep. Haven't heard back to the time of recording. Yes, I could have waited, but we needed something to talk about today. So here we are. Um, but all that to say, when I talked, when I phoned into the first rep, 
they, they acknowledged at least that yes, like the donation is accurate. So you should be able to get in this way. Again, the hard part, well, I don't think it's hard at all, actually. These are the slightly annoying parts, but you're probably going to have to phone in, which I understand some of you don't really like to pick up the phone, but really the question you need to ask yourself is what's your time really worth? And we're talking about a 10 minute call, maybe 15 if you catch them on a bad, on a busy day. 15 minutes of your time worth $200? I think it is. And again, just because I'm a little bit stuck right now doesn't mean you'll get stuck. It's just so I, because I talked to them and because it literally clearly lists nationwide with this donation, I feel fine making a video about it. So there is that. There's the opening process. Of course, if I do get in later, I'll update with a comment. Again, it could be checks keeping me out for all I know. So don't be discouraged. But overall, that's really what you need to know. Relatively easy bonus. The opening process just is a little bit wonky considering you think you check that box and it would just fast track you, but does not seem to be the case. So anyways, that is what you need to know. So let's go over to the summary slide here to wrap this one up. And again, as we said, this is Arizona Financial Credit Union. Um, kind of nationwide with an asterisk. We just spent a ton of time on it. Payout, you're looking at $200. Again, product you want is checking plus that is fee free. When it comes to the requirements, just get in. Remember to use your promo code. Uh, 10 debit card transactions within 45 days. Um, again, there are no fees because the checking plus is fee free. And then possibly checks. Uh, I'll throw that out there as well. There is no end date listed, by the way. And then uh, overall, there's no closure rule listed as well. So you're looking pretty good on this one overall. But if you're like, hey, man, that's a lot. I really don't want to pick up the phone. Well, then check out product. ProfitableContent.com. Because over on ProfitableContent.com, which is the channel's blog, we have not only the latest news stories, we have credit card offers as well, and we have bank promotions, many, many of which do not involve talking to a single person at all. Though if you comment, I will always respond. So you can talk to me if you want. Um, so that's always linked down below for you as well, as well as on the channel homepage as well. Um, that one does get updated daily with like everything that I find is where we just try to make nationwide offers for the for the YouTube page. In addition to that, if you want to know how we discuss these offers, because like, a channel member actually found this offer and brought it to us in our Discord group, well, then you can join the channel membership group that is always available to you. You click the join button down below. Uh, my face pops up. It doesn't make you join automatically, but I give you basically the spiel I'm going to give you now. As a discord server uh, between you know, the main channel rj financial and this channel uh that you know made for folks who want to play this game a little bit more aggressively share data points find bonuses together but more importantly if there's bonuses with referral offers or this this gentleman was to find arizona financial and have a referral link well then we'd be using his referral link in the blog post and the video, that's the value proposition. It's an easy way for folks to generate their own referral network, start to make a few extra dollars on the side. So that is always available to you. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So of course, if you liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, we're posting content just like this every single week on how to make the bank's money become your money. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon in the next one.